हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू मैनेजमेंट कक्षा अ वन स्टॉप सोल्यूशन फॉर ऑल योर मैनेजमेंट क्वेरीज इंट्रोड्यूसिंग टू यू आर लर्निंग बडी क्यू क्यू वेल आज द क्यू क्या एंड कैसे क्वेश्चन दैट यू ऑल वॉन्ट टू नो एंड आई विल बी ट्राइंग टू एक्सप्लेन क्यू टू द बेस्ट ऑफ माई एबिलिटी हाई क्यू वेलकम टू मैनेजमेंट कक्षा हे सिड सो क्यू टू ब्रिंग यू अप टू स्पीड वी हैव कवर्ड द टू एलिमेंट्स ऑफ डिरेक्टिंग विच इज सुपरविजन एंड मोटिवेशन इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो यू कैन क्लिक ऑन द लिंक अबाउ टू वॉच इट विल श्योरली डू थैंक यू आई वेंट थ्रू द अर्लियर वीडियो एंड फाउंड इट रियली इंटरेस्टिंग कुड यू टेल मी वॉट आर वी गोइंग टू लर्न टूडे Sure Q in today's video we will learn about Maslow's need hierarchy theory Wow sounds interesting can we get started said Absolutely Who is this Maslow and what is this theory about Abraham Maslow was an American psychologist and philosopher best known for his theory of motivation maslow's hierarchy of needs is one of the best known theory to explain the question what motivates human behavior said could you please explain a bit more about the theory yep we'll do that before that let me give a quick recap of the term motivation To put it in simple motivation is why a person does something it is the driving force behind human actions Maslow was interested in learning about what makes people happy and the things that they do to achieve that aim He believed that people have an inborn desire to be self actualized that is to be all they can be in order to achieve these ultimate goals however a number of more basic needs must be met such as the need for food safety love and self esteem we are motivated according to maslow to meet each of the basic needs listed on the hierarchy in order meaning that before we can think of things at the top of the pyramid like love respect or self actualization we have to fulfill lower level needs like immediate and long term safety all right could you explain the importance of this theory you can apply maslow's hierarchy of needs in your personal and professional life and you may find areas that you could improve upon Maslow's hierarchy is simple, orderly, intuitive, widely known and considered to be of great practical value. These are perhaps its greatest strengths. The ability to identify your needs and make sure those needs are fulfilled positively can help you increase your chances of success. When you feel safe, supported a sense of belonging and self actualized your attitude may also influence those around you maslow's need hierarchy theory recognizes that humans are full of multiple needs and some of them are more pressing than others but we are ultimately capable of fully realizing our potential great I will apply this theory to understand my deepest deficiencies and challenges as well as my highest strengths. What are the levels of Maslow's hierarchy of needs? Maslow's theory presents his hierarchy of needs in a pyramid shape with basic needs at the bottom of the pyramid and more high level intangible needs at the top. The levels are starting from the base of the pyramid physiological needs 
safety and security needs, social needs, esteem needs, self-actualization needs. Physiological needs are the basic and the most vital needs for our survival. Q, can you please share with us your opinion of what you think these basic needs are? Sure, I think it is food, water, clothes, a place to live and sleep. Well done Q, that's the right answer. Physiological needs are biological requirements for human survival like air, food, drink, shelter, clothing and sleep. If these needs are not satisfied, the human body cannot function optimally. Maslow considered physiological needs the most important as all the other needs became secondary until these needs are met. As we move up to the second level of Maslow's hierarchy of needs, the requirements start to become a bit more complex. At this level, the needs for security and safety become primary. People want control and order in their lives. So this need for safety and security contributes largely to behaviors at this level. Some of the basic security and safety needs include financial security, health and wellness, safety against accidents and injury, finding a job, obtaining health insurance and health care, contributing money to a savings account, and moving into a safer neighborhood are all the examples of actions motivated by the security and safety needs. Together, the safety and physiological levels of the hierarchy make up what is often referred to as the basic needs. What are your thoughts on social needs? After physiological and safety needs have been fulfilled, the third level of human needs is social and involves feelings of belongingness. Belongingness refers to a human emotional need for interpersonal relationships, affiliating, connectedness and being part of a group. Some of the things that satisfy this need include friendships, romantic attachments, family and social groups, community groups, and religious organizations. To avoid problems such as loneliness, depression, and anxiety, it is important for people to feel loved and accepted by other people. Personal relationships with fa friends, family, and lovers play an important role as does involvement in other group that might include religious groups, sports teams, book clubs and other group activities. At the fourth level in Maslow's hierarchy is the need for appreciation and respect. When the needs at the bottom three levels have been satisfied, the esteem needs begin to play a more prominent role in motivating behavior. At this point, it becomes increasingly important to gain the respect and appreciation of others. People have a need to accomplish things and then have their efforts recognized. In addition to the need for feelings of accomplishment and prestige, esteem needs include such things as self-esteem and personal worth. Together, the esteem and social levels make up what is known as psychological needs of hierarchy. Then what are self-actualizing needs? At the very peak of Maslow's hierarchy are the self-actualization needs. What a man can be, he must be, explained Maslow, referring to the need people have to achieve their full potential as human beings. 
According to Maslow's definition of self-actualization, it may be loosely described as the full use and exploitation of talents, capabilities, potentialities, etc. Such people seem to be fulfilling themselves and to be doing the best that they are capable of doing. They are people who have developed or are, or are developing to the full stature of which they are capable of. Self-actualizing people are self-aware, concerned with personal growth, less concerned with the opinions of others and interested in fulfilling their potential. That's a lot of information. Thanks, Sid. Also, Q, even though the big picture is all rosy-rosy, there has been a fair share of criticism for this theory. Wanna hear about it? Whoops. Yeah, tell me. Perhaps the most significant criticism of Maslow's hierarchy is that it has partial to little or no evidence from the scientific community as to validate of Maslow's hierarchy. Researchers have proved that there is lack of hierarchical structure of needs as suggested by Maslow. Though every individual has some ordering for his need satisfaction, some people may be deprived of their lower level needs, may still strive for self-actualization needs. The example of Mahatma Gandhi is one of the most important. There are always some people to whom the need for self-esteem is more prominent than the social needs. Some people say that hierarchy of need simply does not exist. At all levels, needs are present at given time. An individual motivated by self-actualization needs cannot afford to forget his food. But this criticism is solved by Maslow by saying that needs are interdependent and overlapping. Q, this video is about to end. Could you please recap what we have learned today? Sure. You first explained about Maslow's need hierarchy theory, importance of the theory, levels of the pyramid, and criticism of the theory. Awesome! Thanks, Q. Please stay tuned to watch our next video on the next two elements of directing, leadership and communication. Yup, we'll be waiting for it. Please like, share and subscribe to Management Kaksha.